everybody, and welcome to the Kauai Bookworm Plays with Yarn podcast. I'm Hannah, and I'm a Jersey girl studying at the University of Liverpool. Just want to say hello to all of my returning viewers, and welcome to the new viewers. I know I've got quite a few since Kristen of Yarngasm talked about uh, the day that we hung out while I was back in New Jersey. Um, so welcome to my podcast. Thank you for coming by and checking it out. Um, I just want to apologize for last week. Um, I did film and I did try to edit, but the video that I got was not usable. Um, I have gotten a new camera and the micro SD card that I own have owned already was not fast enough for the frame rate that I was filming at and so you could hear my voice but the video would stop on me in very unattractive um, moments and so in order to um, give you a proper video I decided to just skip that week and work out some of the issues that I was having throughout the week and do a video today. So thank you for that. Thank you for your patience. Um, trying something a little bit different. Not really sure if it's going to work because I can't see what's going on on the screen up there because it's gone to my phone. So since it's been a essentially a three week break since I've um, actually yeah, three week break since I've actually filmed. I don't remember what I talked about in the last couple of episodes. So some of this might be just repeat, because um, I know I haven't worked on, at least in the two, in the last two weeks since I've gone back from New Jersey, I've not worked on a whole lot because of, um, there's one project that I've been really focusing on because it's been really hot here. And while it's the temperatures that I'm used to, the um, the building that I live in does not have any kind of breeze that goes through it, um, even with the windows thrown wide open. So it, it's been too hot to knit with proper wool. So I've been knitting with cotton um, alpaca. And so I will, I'll talk about that project now since I'm already kind of blabbing on about it. So the project that I'm doing is the Ramona cardigan and when I filmed, I started this on the Monday that I came back and when I filmed last week I had gotten up to here on the project and I am already down at the ribbing. So this is the Ramona cardigan and the yarn that I'm using is Barocco Maya in the um i think they just have numbers for the colorways uh, but this light gray and then this purpley color um, my mom got me these yarns when one of the local yarn stores in my uh, in the town next to us was closing uh, so she got them on sale and i was supposed to have six skeins of this one, but for some reason, I've lost one of them. No clue where it's gone. Don't know if I left it in New Jersey, don't know if it fell out of my bag on the way to knitting, or if it's just in a box or bag or under the bed or something somewhere in my flat. I'm gonna blame it on the borrowers. I think the borrowers have taken it. So if you, if you can hear me, Please return my skein of yarn. So, that, I've got five of these now, instead of six, and I've got three of these. And so the idea that, I was, that I'm doing is, um, I'm gonna do the whole body in the gray, and then do the all the ribbing and the neckband in the purple. I've been really enjoying yeah, English. Really, really enjoying this knit. Um, it's super easy. It's just a simple raglan style um, top-down 
cardigan. And I think it's really nice. So that's pretty much all I've been working on for the last two weeks. I've not touched anything else because it's been too hot. And the, um, because it's a 85 cotton 15 alpaca. Um, it's, it's nice and light and airy and it's not like, ugh, to work with in the heat. So moving on from the Ramona cardigan, um, I started this project in, right before, I think the day before I went to New Jersey, or a few days before I went to New Jersey so that I was set up and ready to go on, um, on the plane. And it is living in my lovely, lovely Doctor Who um, project bag from Owl About Yarn. I love this project ba bag. It it just like says warp, warp all over it with the TARDIS. I love it. I'm a huge Doctor Who fan. So um, what is living in this is the Residence Shawl by Lavanya Pachacala. Um, I haven't worked on it a whole lot, again, because it's been too hot and it's a single ply merino and when my hands get too like warm and sweaty to work on it, it just kind of sticks. So um, I did a lot while I was on the plane and um, while I was in New Jersey and I am using single ply merino, sing yeah, single ply merinos. Um, the blue is from Stranded Dye Works. It was a one-of-a-kind that I bought at Nottingham Yarn Expo. And then this gold is a, um, is Knit Cosmic Strings and in the Golden Syrup colorway that I bought at Edinburgh Yarn Festival. And I bought it specifically to go with this blue. I knew I wanted to get a, like, golden color and do brioche and so the resonant shawl is perfect for that it's super it's super briochey and it's going to have lots of fringe so I'm very excited I haven't worked on it in ages because again it's just been too hot and it's one of those knits where I need to like sit down and focus on it rather than um, just kind of going whereas the Ramona cardigan is super easy um it's very potato chippy as people say um and because i've been working in i've been working on my dissertation and counting pollen uh i don't want anything complicated when i get home after being in the lab all day and a very very hot lab all day so um it's nice to have something simple to work on, but I want to get back to working on this as soon as I can. Um, I think this heat wave is going to last a bit longer, uh, according to the weather, all, all sorts of different weather sources. Um, so we might not see this for a while, but I do enjoy it. Um, I, yeah, so that is the resonance shawl and moving on to a project that um, I also brought to New Jersey so I brought my resonance shawl and I brought my uh, honeycomb socks to New Jersey to work on the plane because I wanted something that would be I wanted two easy pro like two projects that would be easy to travel with um, but have varying degrees of having to think about so um, I think last time I showed this I was here and I'm now here I've really not made much progress on these mostly because I know I'm getting close to where the heel is and I'm not really sure how when I need to put the heel in and I've just kind of not wanted to do that <laughs> um, but it's this really lovely honeycomb pattern um, and it is in Volum Vine Yarns Footsie Base, and it's in the Edinburgh colorway, which she gifted to me while we were at Edinburgh. So I really love these. Um, funnily enough, when we were both hanging out at uh, D Unit in New Jersey, we were both working on socks 
in the Edinburgh colorway. So, um, and it was interesting to see the different, like, how different the dye, dye lots, you could say, were with hand dyed yarns. So, those are slowly coming along. I will probably be bringing those with me next weekend when I got a five hour train ride and then I think a 40 minute boat ride. Yeah, it's lots of travel next weekend. Um, and then this next project has seen a lot of neglect. Um, it is my Vinter Soul by Jennifer Steingas. Um, it's done in Realma Phenol PT2. And I don't remember exactly which colors is which, but I know one of them is 514, one of them is number two, and one of them is number one. Um, so I've got sleeves. There's sleeves here. Both are done. They, they're folded wonky there, so they look uneven, but they're even. They're, they are even. Just folding it wonky. There we go. Sleeves. I love how this is working up. It's going to be so warm and so comfy. Um, but again, it's way too hot to work on this right now. And I think last time I showed it, I was here. trying to make sure I get it in the film. Um, I was here and I've only done like an inch of work. And this, ooh, where's, where's the camera? Ah. This adorable little dragon is from Hannah of the Corner of Craft um, and the Crafty, Crafty Chat podcast. <clears throat> it's so cute. Ah, focus. Okay, it doesn't want to focus because I can't see where it is. I can't see the camera. But I will get back to this once this heat wave is over because there's no way I'm going to work on this right now. Unless I find somewhere that I can hide out in that's got lots and lots of air conditioning and won't mind if I sit there for a few hours. Which I don't think exists here in England, um, unfortunately. And... That lives in my British Museum tote bag. I think I forgot to say, so my Ramona cardigan is living in my Skane Queen tote bag. I forgot about these. forgot to tell you about these. And then the Honeycomb Edinburgh socks are living in my Edinburgh project bag. Project bag's talked about now. So, I said that the Winter Soul has been quite neglected. But this one takes the cake. Um, it's living in my Down Sheepy Lane bag, which I absolutely love. This was my first project bag, like proper project bag, and I love it. And this is the Bone Yard Shawl by Stephen West. And I started this shawl more than a year ago. Left it in New Jersey because I just didn't have didn't have the space to bring it with me and also I'm doing it in lace weight and it's gotten to the point where I'm just I am completely sick of it I don't want to work on this anymore but I brought it home because um, it is very close to being done I think actually I could I think I could bind off and call it good and wash it and I'll like block out quite a bit because this is um it's color mart yarn and so it comes on a cone like this and it is um it is technically for machine knitting and so it's got lots and lots of um the cone is falling apart here it has lots and lots of spinning oils in it and it's a cashmere remy I think mix and so once I wash it it's gonna bloom and it's gonna 
stretch quite a bit so I think I think that's what I'll do I think I'm halfway through a section so I'll get through that section bind off and call it good um, because I I think I mentioned it on a podcast a while ago but I've I don't have enough cables for my interchangeable I don't have enough cables and needles to do all the projects that I want essentially so I need to get things off the off the needles so that I can put more things on and I had forgotten that this was on here and so I want it <laughs> I want it off so I can use this cable um, also I didn't realize that I had left one of these needles back home and brought the other with me so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna do that I'm gonna move on I think that's what I'll do I'll just finish that section bind it off call it good and then figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest so that is that um, so yeah quite a neglected with it It was just languishing for a while. Um, so I think once I get once I get the Ramona cardigan done, I'll work on this a bit more um, because I just it's so long. All the rows are so long now, and I can't like I don't I don't want to do that. But it'll get done. So that is all that I have for whips in terms of knitting. Um, I have I have some old spinning to show you. So um, I had finished half of this bag of fluff that my friend gave me, um, and so I finished the first half and then put it on my toilet roll, as you can see. And I don't, I use a weird, it's kind of a spindle, but it's not a drop spindle, it's not a supported spindle. Um, it's called the Dizzy Sheep Spinner. And I'm so happy with this. I'm so happy with the choice that I made to buy this. Um, because I have never spun so evenly before. Like, it's hard to tell, but this is so incredibly even from what I've done before and I, I'm so happy with it. But again, it's way too hot for me to spin. So this has just been sitting and I will get back to it when the weather starts to cool down again. Um, so that is it for whips. Um, I have quite a bit of additions to the hoard. Um, because as I said before, my mom had gone to the closing of one of the stores because they were having big sales. So she bought me a couple of things. Um, I had bought some stuff before I went to New Jersey and then I brought back some things that I already owned slash bought slash was given during that week. So, um, since I just talked about spinning, I will talk about this one. Um, this is a this is a new old additions to the hoard. I already I bought this ages ago when I was learning when I first learned how to spin, um, but didn't want to touch it because I wanted to make it perfect or as perfect perfect as I could, and I was not achieving that with the drop spindle. So I brought it back since I've been working really really enjoying working with the dizzy spinner dizzy sheep spinner. Um, this is a 80% merino, 20% silk, and it was dyed by one of my friends from um, the Manit group in Hawaii. So it's gorgeous. It's like all of my favorite blues, and it's so soft. And I can't wait to make a good yarn out of this. So once I'm done with that purple fluff, I will be moving on to this. This is gorgeous. Oh, it's so soft. So soft. Um, I will be moving on to this. Um, yeah. Let's get it back in the bag. Um, so 
So that was something I had bought ages ago and left in New Jersey because I didn't bring my spindle. I was like, oh, I'm not going to. I thought I was going to end up saving that until like one day when I actually owned like a wheel, um, which will not be anytime soon. That's for sure. I move around way too much to be able to afford a wheel. Um, so that was that one. Um, I'll go, since I was already talking about what my mom had bought um, at the store, I'll go, I'll move on to that. So I've got, let's get them out of the bag. Um, I have lots of purple. My mom's favorite color is purple, so I'm not surprised by that. Um, so I've got three skeins of this Sirdar Harup Tweed. Um, they're 50 grams and 155 meters or 170 yards um, per skein. And it's a 40% nylon, 30% wool, 24% acrylic, and 6% viscose. Um, no clue what this is going to grow up to be, but I'll figure it out eventually, as, as you do. And then the other skein of yarn that she got me was this Cascade Yarns, um, can we, can we focus, focus, not on my face, there we go, that's it, um, so Cascade Yarns 128 Superwash, um, and it is, 100 grams of chunky 100% superwash merino wool and at 100 grams it's 128 yards or 170 meters. Um, this will probably grow up to be a hat because that's kind of what I do with chunky yarns. Chunky, I think chunky yarns are great for hats um, and so that's probably what this will be. But again, it will sit until it knows what it wants to be exactly. So. Another um, skein of yarn that I brought home that I already owned was is this um, this. It's a self self striping yarn. It's from La Chicoteri. Um their 2011 um, Alice in Wonderland club, and this one is Queen of Hearts, I think. To me, this reads very Spider-Man, but um, it was gifted to me when I was graduating um, from the University of Hawaii, and so someone was doing a de-stash, I think, and I had bought the Mad Hatter, which was a, or no, Cheshire Cat one, which was a gray and teal. And then um, she was like, I'll throw in this because you're graduating. Congrats. <laughs> so I was like, okay, cool. Um, this I think I'm going to make into a pair of socks. I really need to get um, a pair of like plain, plain vanilla socks on the needles because um, I need something to bring to the pub when I do the pub quiz um, that I don't need to think about. Um, the next one is... A, from Ovis Yarns. I don't know why my brain stopped thinking there. Come on, focus. Um, this one is from Ovis Yarns and I bought this right before I went to New Jersey because I was looking for, um, I wanted to give Kristen a skein of yarn that was local to Liverpool, that was um, local to England, that she wouldn't be able to easily get in America. Um, and so I went with this, oh, well, I bought this for myself, and then I went with another one that she um, has talked about on her podcast. It's, I forget what it was called, but it was like pinky and mauve and yeah, and I, she laughs at me every time I say mauve, because I say it very Jersey-like. Um, but anyways, so this is 100, um, sorry, 70% BFL, 30% Masham. Um, it's a four ply and the colorway is called Night King and it is just totally my colors. Just, I love blue. 
Blue, blue, blue. That's all me. I love blue. So. I think this will be socks. I'm not sure yet. Haven't decided. It'll figure itself out. Um. So, while I was in New Jersey, we went to, I went with Kristen to do Knit's new location because they moved from their Westfield location to a location in Fanwood, which is really, it's literally the town next door. So, um, I had seen on Instagram the new issue of Amirisu, the issue 16, summer 2018 issue. And the shawl on the cover just screamed at me. Um, so I knew I had to buy Amirisu. And so I did. And so just look at that shawl. It's gorgeous. So I bought Amirisu. And there are definitely quite a few projects in here that I'm going to do. I want to do the shawl that's on the cover which is called birds of a feather let me find it or sorry wings of the dove um wings of the it had something to do with birds <laughs> um wings of the dove and it's just this gorgeous gorgeous like shawl um and I want to do that and then is it do, 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 trying to find it? Uh, almost there. They have this sh um uh sleeveless shirt called Luberon. Um let me find a better that's a better photo of it. And it's just really, really lacy and beautiful. And I want to do that. Um, they just have so many, like, really, really pretty patterns. And one of the things I really like about this um, is that you get the book, but you also get a download code for the um, for a PDF version off of Ravelry, Ravelry within the book. Um, so I like that because I, I do use my tablet for my patterns, um, but I also like having the hard copy to be able to flick through and see, um, but I don't have to carry this thing around when I am working on it. So I, I really, really like it. And I actually told one of my friends who's studying abroad in Japan right now about their uh, store location, and I think she went to it. <laughs> um, she had posted something about going to a yarn store, and I was just like, I think I know which store that is. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I, I definitely, this was my first publication, and I'm really happy with it that I've actually bought. Um, and I think I will probably be buying more of Ami Risu because I, I really like it. I'd like to get the Japanese version of it as well because I do I do speak Japanese well relatively um, I'm not the best at it but I do speak Japanese I lived there for a year and so I'd like to be able to have like a side-by-side -side comparison of the English and the Japanese so that I can kind of keep up my Japanese practices and last but not least I always save the best for last um, is this absolutely gorgeous skein of Dragon Tears from Bull and Vine. Um, Kristen was so kind to gift me this because I was talking about how um, I want to make the No Frills cardigan, or not cardigan, but pullover in the Dragon Tears colorway because I think it's gorgeous. Um, and so she sent me the her foot um, one on the footsie base, which is a 8020 blue face luster and nylon. And um, I'm really excited. So I'm going to slowly start collecting uh, BFL and um, Ghost Lace in the Dragon Tears colorway so that I can make that um, sweater. But it's gorgeous. Again, with the blues. I love blues. And I love all... I pretty much love all shades of blue except for maybe like the really, really obnoxious like... Uh, 
neon-y blues. But these, like, these look like water. If it looks like water and it looks like the sky, that's my cup of tea. So, that is it for whips and additions to the hoard for this episode. Um, I know it was a little bit wonky this episode, but um, I got thrown off by la uh, filming, actually filming last week's episode, but not being able to, um, not having good quality f footage. Um, and so it's a little bit weird because I'm talking about everything twice. I'm trying to remember what I said, but I'm not going to remember it all. So, um, that's that. Um, I'll go into a little bit of a talk story now. Um, so talk story, I'll recap what, um, the last couple of weeks, I guess. So. Um, I went back home to surprise my youngest sibling um, for their graduation. Um, so now all four of us are done with high school and on off into the world of university and life. Um, so while I was there, I messaged Kristen saying, "Hey, I'm back. Ho I'm going to be back home for a week. Do you want to meet up? Do you want to go to the unit?" And she was like, "Yeah, let's go. Let's do it." So. Um, we met up, I picked her up from the train station, um, and we went to Coffee Box, which is a really, really good coffee shop, um, a couple blocks down from the train station, and then we spent the day at Dionet, and um, talking with the two Karens, um, who, one who owns the store and one who works in the store, and just enjoying a very nitty afternoon. Um, while I was home and while she played hooky from work. Um, so that was lovely. It was a fantastic afternoon. I really enjoyed it. Uh, brother has a dog and she is adorable. Um, I, since I was sleeping on the couch in the living room, she he would bring her down to give her breakfast and take her outside and then he could not get her to come back up upstairs with him because she just wanted to sleep on top of me and so I woke up most mornings with the dog curled up on top of me and I couldn't get up because I can't disturb the dog that would be blasphemy so um that happened and then I came back and I've just been working on my pollen counts. I'm more than halfway through my pollen counts, so almost done. I am, fingers crossed, everything will be done by Thursday of this week. Well, not everything, but the lab work will be done by Thursday of this week. So, woo! I cannot wait to be done with that. I'm sick of counting pollen. <laughs> it's tedious. Um, and I got to go to the beach last week, um, which is also kind of why I ended up not... I, I filmed on Saturday, so I could have fixed it on Sunday, but I went to the beach instead and then got burnt. And so wanted to <laughs> make sure that my sunburn went away before I filmed again, because that would not be fun. Um, it was something that I absolutely, absolutely needed to do. Um, I love the beach. It's something that, like, although I'm terrified of the ocean, um, I love being near water and being able to dip my toes in it. Um, so it, it's something that, like, because I've not been, it's been cold and rainy and, um, we had really amazing weather for the last, like, two, three weeks. And so I was like, I need to take this chance. So I went to the beach with... Uh, some friends and it was a lot of fun. We got stuck in the mud um, and just enjoyed the day. This is all that I have to tell you this week. Um, it was a lot. I'm sorry. It's a doozy. But that's what happens when you try to film and have a mess up. Yay! New tech toys. It's fun to learn how to make them work. Sometimes, not always. Wanted to throw everything out the window, but I didn't. Walked away, thought about it, came back to it, and have now, hopefully, have now fixed it. So, I'm going to say a couple of things. I'm going to do the whole YouTube spiel that lots of people do. So, if you 
like my videos and you are new and haven't subscribed, please subscribe below. If you are already subscribed and you really like my videos and you want to know when I upload, please hit the notification button. And if you liked my video, please like it as well. It helps me get my videos out there, especially now that I'm starting to get more followers. That would be really great to be able to reach even more people. Um, so thank you. Happy knitting and have a good day. Bye.